The Yakima Police Department started off National Police Week by remembering fa fallen officers, including a YPD K-9 that died last year. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us it's a matter of honor and respect for the officers who have died from the ones still putting their lives on the line. I can tell you after all these years, every police death, whether it's in Kentucky or New York City or Los Angeles or Yakima, you feel just a little bit of your own soul die. 245 in 2022, four of them from Washington State. Donald Chihota, Dominic Kalata, Dan Rocha, Jordan Jackson. These officers were the ones who ran towards danger when everyone else was running away. We always say we never forget, and that's what this is, is a reminder not to forget. We are also gathered here to pay tribute to a very special member of our community, a brave and loyal canine, police dog Trex. I'll admit he was not the easiest dog to train, he wanted to uh, play more than catch bad guys. But he still did. Almost 300 deployments and almost 100 apprehensions of um, suspects. Some tased him, lit him on fire, or hit him with a metal bar. He still hung in there and, and helped us, um, again, reduce the amount of force we would have had to otherwise use. Until he got sick and died in November. Sometimes we don't realize it until we really need them, but our, our two canines get used constantly uh, at YPD to protect our officers. My hope is that we won't have to have an officer die for folks to remember what people are doing for them. We just want recognition that we're out here, we do risk our lives, that we, we understand that uh, there's people that don't care for us, but we also understand that the majority of people do, and that um, we're not looking for um, anything major, we just want um, a little bit of respect sometimes. You please join me in a moment of silence as we remember all these officers. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap KBU, Local News.